Hello, so right now I am sitting in Bozeman, Montana and um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, my upcoming journey as well as um, a little bit about just goal setting. I think that one of the things that is overlooked um, in terms of focusing on your dreams, achieving your dreams, are um, you know the little pieces we put in place to push us to really get there. And so as you know, I am working on becoming um, fully location independent and traveling the world and also, um, yeah, that. That's the big goal. So in the short term, the small goals include um, saving up some money. So that's going to include not paying rent for a few months or longer um, and also um, selling as much as I can to downsize and then making a plan on where I can maintain data and internet so that I can remain location independent and so that I can um, travel to wherever I want to. Um, as I've mentioned in other videos, the podcasts that I've been listening to have been so inspiring. There's so much information out there. I have been completely inundated and so excited about the amount of information out there. So even if um, I've been looking at even a lot of the RVing, um, the websites and the videos and the YouTube um, and the podcasts and stuff that have been dedicated toward RVers who are location independent and either a lot of them, um, a lot of the ones I've been watching actually are, have been people that are m retired and or living off of like disability or unemployment or something like that. Um, but a lot of the podcasts I've been listening to have been more people that are location independent and working remotely. So uh, they're either entrepreneurs building their own businesses or they're exercising certain um, ways to maintain either residual income or other forms of income by drop shipping or by um, affiliate um, sales or there's uh, so many there's so many options out there and definitely one of the things that I'm learning from all that is um, you know to find your own to find your own thing whatever it is for you that um, that you really enjoy um, you know whether it's you know you want to be a writer and so travel writing could be a way to maybe form an income or maybe you um, love passive income and so there are ways in which you want to set up some processes that um, don't require much maintenance and um, and maybe that you know there's a lot of usually with those there's a lot of um, you know work you put in, in the beginning um, but then they provide residual income long term and 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 there's less maintenance there um, I listened to one podcast where a guy does voice uh, what does he do um, not voiceovers but um, uh, I guess it's voiceovers. No, it's not voiceovers. He reads transcripts, and um, but he has so much work um, because he's been building up his resume for years that um, you know he can work as much as he wants during the day, still maintain this nomadic lifestyle with his family, and then he can take on as much or as little work as he as he wants in order to continue that lifestyle. And so there are a lot of options out there for people that are looking, um, and there are a lot of really poor podcasts too I've been discovering. And so, you know, um, I, I don't like to be judgmental, but they're just podcasts that are less helpful. Um, I feel like the people that have been doing it for a little while and are also really great at um, not only sharing their own stories, but also interviewing other people who are either going through that experience or who have already gone through that experience. Um, the people that are good at interviewing those people have been the most helpful for me. Um, basically, I've been listening nonstop to um, these YouTube videos and podcasts and playlists and things like this um, and gleaning just whatever I think applies to me. And I highly recommend that if you're thinking about becoming nomadic or being location independent, listening to these and just taking what you can from each of them because... There's never going to be one person or one family or one situation or one podcast that really fits your exact needs. But if you can pull a little bit from each of them and then build your own lifestyle based on that, 
um, I think it's really helpful. It's been really helpful for me. Um, I've been learning right now a lot about how to set up my domicile in one state um, versus, you know, thinking residency, you can actually have residency in multiple states, I guess, but um, in order to, you know, for income tax and things like that, you set up your domicile in one state. Um, and there's a lot of research on this, and there's a lot of people that have that know exactly like what states are great for what things. So what state's good for if you have an income? What states are good for if you want to register your car and how often you have to go back to re-register your car? How often if you want to get a license in one state, but you want to, um, if you want to re-register that, um, or when you have to renew that license, how often does that happen? Um, you know, there's things to consider like sales tax, health insurance was a big one. I didn't even think about that. And I guess that's because I'm lucky in that I'm young and I'm healthy and so I don't really have to think about um, health insurance but um, you know that is something to really consider when you're when you're thinking about becoming um, location independent so there are just some really great videos out there I'm not going to try to cover a lot of those topics um, even from like you know um, as you know I've been I've been um, playing with this idea of living out of my truck for a couple months and there are videos that are dedicated to where you can stay you know where it's legal good um also good just rule of thumb like co you know consciousness awareness stuff um which i think is really important because um the more that you impact the people around you um you know the more that i feel like our world tends to change um you know, I remember living in Santa Cruz and, you know, because there was one van parked outside my CrossFit gym, um, that was kind of, you know, the, the guy that was sort of living in that van was coming out and sort of harassing the people on a daily basis and it became an issue and not that, um, you know, to say that that's most people, but I think it's just good to be aware of your surroundings and your impact and to be as discreet as possible if you're going to live that lifestyle. Um, that's what I want to do. Um, because I'm not doing this for, um, you know, to, to, to say screw off to society or anything like that. I'm doing that to save some money, to be able to travel. Um, and I still want to, you know, work for a living and, um, be able to make a little bit of savings so that I actually have some retirement. I feel like that's one another whole another topic for, um, my generation and younger generations is that, um, you know, retirement's almost a joke. Like, we don't even know if we'll have Social Security and things like that when we retire. And so, um, I'm, you know, I think I'm too late in starting to think about that process. And I think you're never too young to start saving, even if it's a dollar a month. Um, and I wish I had kind of been taught that when I was younger. And so, um, anyway, there's lots of good info. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but I'm just really excited. I am um, have all these, I have like 60 pictures on my phone tonight that I need to get up and uploaded to Facebook Marketplace and to Craigslist to sell everything, not to sell everything, to sell a lot of stuff and to connect with some friends where I can store some stuff and then, um, you know, start on my journey in a couple of weeks and I do plan on vlogging. I don't really like that word vlog, video logging, I like vlogging with a V. Um, but I do plan on blogging through that process so that you can follow me and follow my journeys as I figure all the stuff out because I do want to maintain um, professionalism within my job. I love my job. I love my company. I love what I do. And so I want to really maintain that integrity and that authenticity with them. And so um, as I travel, and so that's going to be a challenge for me because I feel like as an event planner, I'll have to do a little bit more planning to really make sure that I have the resources necessary to have really good data connection, um, you know, so that I can be on in meetings um, every week and every day and um, so that I can be present and really make sure that I'm um, upholding my standard of work ethic within my company. So um, anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to mention um, some of those things. If you have any questions, post below or any, um, if you want to know any good links, please ask. I, there's so many, um, the podcast or not the podcast. I was on a podcast gig for a while. As you all know, I was painting, doing a lot of painting and listening to Nomad Together is a great one. And the more that I've checked out other podcasts, Nomad Together is still one of the best. So I highly recommend it. Um, 
but there are so many others. Like I've been watching this YouTube channel. It's like, um, something with the RV in it. I'll post it below. Um, and it's this guy, like this older dude named Bob and he's great. He's a great little interviewer and he's just, he just like hits up like cool random people that are just, that are living on the road. And it just opened up my world to see how many people are really doing this. And I'm sure that 10 years ago, there's somebody like me saying the same thing. And in 20 years, there'll be somebody saying the same thing too. So it's kind of cool about our world and the world that we live in. Um, the possibilities are endless once we open our mind to what's possible. So um, that being said, have a great day and I'll talk to you later.